Hi, this is Scoggin, and this is third part to my crispy french fries my way video. And what I've done is I went ahead and took them out of the uh, fridge. The fries has uh, been in the fridge for 15 minutes, and I'm fixing to deep fry them again. So I'm deep frying them twice. And uh, go ahead and show you what we got. Here's the fries, what has been in the fridge for 15 minutes. The reason for that is they have cooled down and instead of, uh, <coughs> excuse me, being soggy, whenever we deep fry them, they're going to be a golden brown on the outside and fluffy on the inside. And I'll show you how that comes about. So, let me go ahead and move this over here to the deep fryer and something else what I forgot to mention in the first video and I know it's the third one and, and I, I can't think of everything I'm getting old but you can also do this in like a, a like if you have a, a pot like a Dutch oven pot you can do the, the same thing just monitor the uh, uh, temperature. So, let me go ahead and get these in there. Mm -hmm. In my deep fryer. As you can see, they're soggy. See what I mean? They're bending. Not going to bend when it, when they come out, though. They're going to be uh, nice and crispy. And they're going to be perfect. Okay, what I've done is I've set my temperature up higher. It's up now on my deep fryer to 375. That's where I want it. I'm going to let this go and fry for about anywhere from 2 to 3 minutes. I like to go 3. It's going to give a nice uh, dark, uh, uh, crispy color to them. And uh, the inside is going to be perfect. And I'll show you how they come out. So go and go ahead and lower it. They're going to fry up now. And I'm going to set this for three minutes. And in three minutes we're going to have ourselves some crispy fries. Now I'm going to move this back. And when I move it back, I'm going to do some more shout outs. Shout out to MBYR31, my good friend. Uh, don't let things get you down, man. You got to hold your head up. Uh, that's how I survive every day. And just uh, uh, got to check out his channel. He's got uh, some... Uh, good good stuff there. Phil and Florence in Florence, South Carolina. Hey, can't say no no more about uh, Phil. Uh, excellent barbecue, my friend. Rock and Rollin. That's spelled R O C E N R O L. Uh, been with me forever uh, since I started. Uh, just uh, uh, excellent, uh, excellent per uh, person. Uh, his uh, daughter is really talented with the guitar and singing, and she's going to go places. I, I'll tell you that all the time. Stephanie Conboy, Conroy, Stephanie Conroy, uh, another uh, viewer and subscriber. Uh, got some good stuff on her channel. Wicked Brews, been with me for a long time. Uh, 
Hope you're doing fine, my friend. Uh, make videos every now and then, and, and I always enjoy every one of them. Thomas Tommy, another uh, viewer and subscriber. Hank the Drunk, Drunken Dwarf. Uh, hope you're doing fine. Pex 2A America. Excellent gun reviews. If you like gun reviews, gun uh, shooting and stuff, this is a man with the plan. Drunken One. Uh, my good friend down in uh, South Texas. Uh, hope you're doing fine. Officer Horror Time. Uh, another uh, subscriber and uh, viewer to my channel. Uh, I'll see you uh, sometime there, my friend. Texas Hold'em, uh, been with me forever, uh, got some uh, cool motorcycle mods and uh, gun mods and uh, all kinds of stuff. Uh, Jason Setley, I believe you're up there, I'm not sure, I think you might be in New York, I could be wrong, but I uh, haven't heard from you, uh, uh, just kind of concerned, and uh, You've been with me for a, for a long, long time, my friend. Just uh, want to give every, all these a shout out. Uh, I can't get, like I say, I can't get to everybody. Wish I could, but uh, just uh, want to know, let everybody know that I appreciate all you viewers and subscribers out there. I really do. And uh, just uh, one of those things where if if I was to give 7,100 uh, people shout-outs, I might be here two or three hours. So, uh, there you go. Got these uh, fries uh, going on, and uh, they're going to be ready in a, just a little bit. And going to go ahead and uh, move this, put another fresh apartment parchment paper there. I'm not using the old one. I'm going to go ahead and uh, season these up and uh, I'm going to show you how they come out. By golly. And I tell you what, if you want some crispy fries and nice looking fries, well, this is the way you go. Just uh, uh, making fries, they're not hard. And like I say, I, I apologize for not, in the very first video, you can make these like in a, if you have a Dutch oven or something, uh, just monitor the uh, uh, temperature. Uh, you know, put a thermometer down in there and monitor the temperature while you're cooking them, you can do it. I've just uh, got a mindset that I always use a deep fryer, so uh, that's... Uh, the way I do it, because it's to me it's just uh, natural. I don't uh, fry stuff like in the uh, Dutch oven or anything like that because I have the deep fryer, and I forget that there's people out there what does not have a deep fryer, and I want to really uh, apologize. I should have done this from the from the very start. Fries are looking excellent. And I tell you what, they are going to be great. Once that little bell rings, they're done. Just sitting here waiting for the bell to ring. And hopefully it'll ring. Follow these steps on this these fries. Uh, I'll tell you what, you make excellent fries. Every time, guarantee it.
looking really good. When I go ahead and uh, spread them out and pour them, you'll see how how nice they are. Oh, there we go. Let these drain a little bit. And oh, yay. I'm going to go ahead and move this down here. Got a fresh parchment paper on there. And go and go ahead and uh, let them kind of drain off just a bit. I don't want a greasy fry. I want a nice brown, crispy fry. And that's what these going to be. Oh, yeah. Anytime fries come out like this, uh, whenever they come out of a fryer, that's when you need to uh, season them up. And I'm going to use some uh, sea salt, just some black pepper. You can season them up however you want. That's what I'm going to use because that's what I like. And whenever you uh, see some, uh, you need to move it up and not go like like this. You see what I'm saying? You need to move it up because it spreads evil. Okay, got my fries here. And as you can see, they're golden brown. They're, they're cooked to perfection. And they're hot right now. But maybe I can get one where I can go ahead and give it a sample. As you can see, there is no uh, bending. When I showed you before, there was bending. And as you can see, they are so golden brown and, and nice. They're going to be crisp. I already know. Oh man. Fantastic. I don't know if you can hear the stat. But if you look in there, these are crispy on the outside and fluffy on the inside. Just like I said they'd be. And oh wow. Mm. Excellent fries. The only regret is I don't have more. But as you can see, I'll go ahead and show you one more time. That all these are just uh, crunchy, golden brown, and uh, just cooked to perfection. And they're so good. Really, so good. They're not soggy. Uh, just uh, a really nice, crisp fry. Get another one here. See, I can move it in this uh, standing straight. Oh, yeah. Got that, Chris. Just fantastic. You want crispy fries like this? Follow my recipe. They will come out. This is Goggett. I appreciate all you viewers and subscribers out there got me some fries what I'm going to eat and y'all take care.